So give them three there. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they couldn't punch it in. And credit this defense, too. That was the old bend but don't break approach. But it kept the offense out of the end zone. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Seattle offense now is set to come back out on the field. And the interception last time on the opponent's side of the field, certainly not what they wanted. Put it mildly, that is so frustrating because that signifies there's a drive going on. You're in a good spot, great place to run some of your best offense. Instead, they turn the ball over. They turned the ball over last time. See if they can avoid doing it here. It's a five receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. Looking to throw. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. It's a gain of 14 there. And it's good enough for Seattle first. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. They go play action here on first down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Second down here after the incomplete pass. On play action, they'll throw out to his left. It's caught at the 10. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10 to the 7. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. We just saw him hit a big play there on a deep post. And most of the time, the post isn't available because usually you have defenders in the middle of the field. But if you throw enough curls and crossing routes and underneath routes, <laughs> I know from experience, they get tired of watching those balls get caught. They start to creep up a little bit, and that's when you can hit them big over the top. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Back to throw again. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. So many offense want to improve their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out and check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. I can't imagine we'd see another throw here. Third and goal from the one. They come out with one back and three tight ends. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he will not be denied. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. It's the fullback taking it in. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. Now the Seahawks able to make this a close game again. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Shift together here from the D line. On second down, here's Breeze. He'll rifle this one deep right side. It's caught inside the 25. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Mike Wallace, 71 yards. And the Steelers get the quick strike touchdown. It's good to make it 17-7. Here's the Steelers' kick team as they'll boot this one away. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch-up, 
every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, you gave up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down now and get the ball back for our own offense? Is it more pressure? Is it more zone? What do they have to do? They're trying to figure that out themselves. We'll see if they can figure that out right here. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. Flushed out right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. Jordan Cameron is tight in the intended receiver at its third down. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit and they may have to change accordingly. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Open man left side is the tight end Clark. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you... Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. They're going to try and throw. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Champ Bailey. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. And now out come the Steelers. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. Now McCoy, no gain on the play. It'll be second down. And now the Seahawks are going to call another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Offense still needing 10 yards, second down. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. On second down, it's McCoy. Shreds the tackle. And some room to work. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. LaShawn McCoy, 34 yards. 